Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about literal equations, and we're going to solve each equation for the indicated variable. So if I was given this equation, g equals 1 plus 2a over a, and we're solving that for a. Okay? Well, first I'm going to rewrite my equation here. I'm going to give myself a little space on the left in case it seems like it's been a little more complicated. So g equals 1 plus 2a over a. So my first step here is I'm going to multiply both sides by a to get a out of that denominator. So by doing that here, multiplying both sides by a, a's cancel here, leave me with a times g equals 1 plus 2a. Okay? So from there, I'm going to bring my a's over to one side and my numbers to the right. So I'm going to subtract the 2a to both sides, and we don't have any numbers to bring over to the right. And so now I have an a times g minus 2a equals a 1, okay? I'm kind of sliding over a little here. So what I need to do now is, since I need to get a by itself isolated, I'm going to do uh, pull out an a here. So I'm going to pull out um, an a, and so I'm going to put parentheses around it and pull it out. So my next step, I have an a out here, and I have a g minus 2, and that's going to equal my 1. So you see when I'm pulling out that a, a is isolated, right? It's outside. Well, not, well, not really isolated, I guess, but it's it's uh, pulled out so that if I multiply it back in, a times g is a g, and then a times 2 is 2a, and there's a subtraction there. So if I rewrite that up here, okay, I'm going to rewrite that step here, g minus 2 equals 1. So now I have multiplication going on there between the parentheses and the a. So if I divide by g minus 2 to both sides, I'm left with a by itself and whatever 1 over g minus 2 is, okay? Well, from there, I have nothing else to do. a is already isolated, it's by itself, and it's equal to 1 over g minus 2. And so now, I have my answer. There it is. So let's recap. We're given g equals 2 plus, uh, oh, 2, uh, oh my goodness, g equals 1 plus 2a over a, I can't speak right now, uh, and we're solving for a here. So I rewrote my equation, and I multiplied a to both sides, giving me a times g equals 1 plus 2a. I subtracted 2a and brought it to the left to bring all my a's on one side. From there, I noticed it was a times g, or a g, minus 2 times a. Well, I saw an a in both parts, so I could pull that out, giving me an a, parentheses, g minus 2, and parentheses, equals 1, and we can see that if I distributed the a back in, I'd get what's written above. I then rewrote it up here, but then I had to divide by g minus 2 to both sides because there's multiplication. So by doing that, uh, the opposite of multiplication is division. By doing that, I had a isolated by itself, right? These g minus 2 will cancel, leave me with a equals 1 over g minus 2, which is my final answer.